Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating flash buttons in Dreamweaver. And this is a very interesting concept here in Dreamweaver and that is you can actually create these flash buttons right here in Dreamweaver. You don't have to go over to Flash to create your buttons. So really you don't even need to know how to use Flash if you want to create these buttons. That is if you're willing to stick to the pre-built library buttons that Dreamweaver has. Remember, it has a decent sized library of buttons, and each button has a built in, or most of the buttons, I shouldn't say all, most of the buttons have a built in over and down state, and some of them even have sounds that uh, are played when you roll over them. So they can get pretty fancy, and there's some pretty nice buttons that they have in there. So if you don't know how to use Flash and you want to add some buttons that are something a little special to your site, using Flash buttons can be pretty quick easy and relatively painless way to spruce up your site. So um, they're definitely something that's worth learning how to do. Um, and basically what Dreamweaver is doing is it's creating this button and auto exporting a mini SWF file for you. And an SWF file appears in your site after you create one. So let's create one of these flash buttons here. Let's come up here to the media plugin area and we're going to select flash button and up pops the insert flash button dialog box. And we're going to give this button some button text. Now the button text is just the text that appears on the button. Let's say we're creating oh a contact button. Let's set our button text to contact and we're going to set the font. We're going to leave it at Verdana. I kind of like Verdana. We're going to make it a little smaller. Let's set the size to 11. Give it a link. And we will set that link. We'll come over here to the contact page and the contact page in index.html. And you can give it a target whether or not to open up on the same page or another page. Let's say open up on the same page. You can give it a background color. That's for the buttons that have some transparency to them. I'll show you them in just a second. And also, you're going to want to give your button a name because Dreamweaver is just going to give it a generic name, i.e., button one. So, you're probably going to want to browse. And right here, we're under the private folder. That's this private folder right here that we have in our files panel. And let's give it a name such as contact btn, let's not use caps, dot swf. And we're going to save it there. So you can see that we're going to save this as contact btn dot swf. Now that we've done all that, let's check out some of these buttons. I'm just going to scroll through. It's pretty nice buttons they have. By the way, see when you roll over them things happen. When you click down, things happen. Chrome bar, roll over and click down that. And I happen to know that one of these, I'm trying to remember now which one has sound. I think it's a slider one when you roll over it. Yeah, that one has some sound. You probably can't hear it, but that one has some sound. Um, we're going to select something simple. Let me see. Let's say, you know what? Let's come back up and just select this beveled rectangle, blue. Or maybe the gray. Now let's do blue. Blue looks a little better. And then we're going to hit OK. And the flash button is going to ask us for some accessibility attributes. We can give it a title if we want. I'm not going to do that right now. And you can see our button has appeared where we last left the cursor and we selected. So I selected down there. And that's not it. You can test the button by hitting play. We roll over it. And when you click down on it, something happens too. I didn't complete the click, which is why it didn't bring me to contact.html. I can save this page here and hit F12 to preview it in my default browser. And I'm going to scroll down, and when I click the contact page, it brings me over to the contact page. How nice. Okay, now let's take a look at editing these buttons. It's actually pretty easy to edit uh, flash buttons. It's pretty much just a matter of double clicking the flash button or down here in the properties palette, panel I should say, hit edit, brings up the insert flash button dialog box. So it's really easy to edit these buttons once you place them in. With that in mind, I'm just going to paste five of these in because five would be what we'd use for this navigation bar. I've got five different buttons. Let's save this and we're going to export it or view it on the web. Now you can see that in Dreamweaver it looked fine, but now that we have it out on the web, one of these buttons appears in the next line. We want them all to appear in the same line. And the way we're going to do that 
is we've got to do a little bit of resizing. So what we're going to do is select this, and remember, it's vector. So really, I could scale this thing up. I could make this 400 pixels wide if I wanted. I want to do that. So I'm going to scale it back to 100. But what I would do is just basically resize this. I'm going to set the width to 80. And we're going to reduce the height just a little bit, say to 18. Okay, And then I just select all of these, reduce 80 to 18. Or really the easy way, let me undo all of that so you don't have to guess on keeping it proportionate, is just grab the handle in the corner, hold the shift key, and just scroll it back a little bit. And then what I would probably do at this point is select all four of these bigger ones, delete them, and just copy and paste that one five times. Save this, hit F12 to preview it in the browser, and remember, it's vector, so it's still going to look clear at any resolution. And there you go, all five on the same line. Very, very easy to work with flash buttons. Now, of course, they're limiting because you're basically stuck with the library that Dreamweaver gives you, although there is a method to getting your own buttons in there. Um, it's a little bit of a pain in the neck, but um, there is a way to do it. But for now, that's it for this one. That's how you create flash buttons and work with flash buttons. It's really, really easy to do, and it's kind of something neat that Dreamweaver has and allows you to do. So that's how you do it. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you would, please go check out the site. It's www.tutvid.com.